Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Uh, I want to use today video, today's video even, uh, nice and quick, to basically just run you through my recommendations for gearing the two new most overpowered units in the game, uh, our, the one Escanor uh, and Purgatory Meliodas, right? Uh, I'm probably going to give some, you know, some quick shout outs and mentions to probably people like maybe Estorosa, uh, who you maybe want to pair with, uh, you know, for example, Purgatory Melee, if you're building out the demon team, um, and I'll just some, yeah, give some honorable mentions, but basically just wanted to run through how I recommend gearing them um, and why I recommend gearing them that way. So uh, I'll start with uh, Escanor because he was... Uh, first up in the banner uh, or the, in the in the timeline cycle I guess the first festival um, now I have him attack crit um, now I would definitely recommend him as attack crit I think he does a heck of a lot of damage the only time you really want to run HP defense is if you're trying to out CC your enemy right like so for example for me my combat class is just under 60k I know if you buy all those cosmetics, max them all out, do the do the full thing. Maybe you want to spend some gems on him um, to max out his cosmetics. You can, and you have him six six. You can get him close to seventy k uh, on HP defense. But I just feel he's uh, he definitely feels squishier than potentially he could. So HP defense could definitely be a go. But my definite recommendation, is, like if I had to pick one, because I know you jump on, like we all jump on, you know, these gear recommendation videos and everyone always says attack crit or HP defense, it's up to you. Um, and that's, you kind of like, yeah, that's that's not very helpful. I know that. If I had to pick, I'd go attack crit damage, right? Like if I'm, like I don't have HP defense for, for an Escanor. I haven't built that set yet. I don't know whether I'm going to. I do have uh, HP pieces, uh, sorry, defense pieces for him because I built them for the other, the base Escanor's Holy Relic, which scales off defense, just for kind of fun. Um, but if I had to pick a gear set, it would be attack crit, right? Like this guy is just built to dish out damage. Um, like that's his sole task. Like he's your, he's on there to, to basically just, it's not really there to like be tanky and tank hits. He's there to dish out the damage. So whether it's on a PVP team um, or whether it's on a, you know, like a bird team or something like that, you're using him. I've used him obviously in a couple of bird videos now. Just basically use him on attack crit, dish out the damage, and you should be sweet. The only time I would probably recommend running HP defense, again, is if you're just purely trying to go for mass CC in like PVP. Um, like, and the, the latest story, he, I think the latest Demon King, Meliodas fights like 320k CC, might be helpful, but... You don't necessarily need two sets. Um, attack crit will, will will do the job here just fine. Um, but you know, if you had to if you had to build out another set, definitely you could do an HP defense for Escanor. You wouldn't be, you know, poor off doing that um, because you know he he this is an Escanor, right? There's a lot of Escanors in the game. You can use an Escanor for a link. So having an HP defense set for him wouldn't be wouldn't be the end of the world. But attack crit. To make my to make my point clear. Next, um, good old Purgatory Meliodas. Now I really really like this hero. Uh, I actually think I like him more than Escanor. I think Escanor looks sick, but I just really like the way Meli's unique functions. I really like how he's going to be probably bring back the demon team. Um, so it's like he's definitely he's definitely up there for me. Uh, and I've had a play with him. I've fortunate enough to have both. Uh, Wherever it is, I change the change the settings. I've got both attack crit uh, at fifteen percent as well as HP defense at fifteen percent, and I've played with both. Um, my recommendation, if you could only build one set, hopefully you guys might even have two by this point. Or like for me, I'd always just had attack crit for Trader Meliodas, right? Um, I never really saw any point in running a second set. But I saw this guy come out and I was like, you know what, HP defense, I can do, I can use the the free gear we got with Grimoire to build this out. Um, and honestly, it was really worth it. Um, I, If I had to pick a set, again, if we're, if we're playing Devil's Advocate, ideally you want both, right? Ideally you want your tech crit as well as HP defense. But if I had to pick, I'd actually pick HP defense. And the reason is because he becomes really tanky with HP defense, especially with, uh, I think it's the 20% damage reduction. Yeah, the demon allies take 20% less damage. And then the true magic stats takes away all debuffs and increases attack related stats by 50%. I mean, you guys know the know the passive, I'm just reading it at you, but 
if you have this passive, like as soon as you get true magic, you do damage cap, you one shot, right? Like you, you do crazy damage anyway. So like if you had both sets, you could probably honestly just leave. I don't even know where my trader melee is gone. There he is. Uh, you could just leave attack crit on trader melee because he works really well with attack crit. Because uh, he also builds up his passive as well, right? Like he has his passive where you've used single targets, you increase your defense, so he becomes tankier then and he increases his all stats. Whereas melee, you can just use the HP defense. So um, that's kind of what I would look at. Like ideally, like if there's a hero in the game to have two sets for, it's Meliodas, right? There's always going to be Meliodas's. Um, and then... Escanor would probably be my second pick. There's always going to be Escanors, and there's always going to be powerful Escanors, right? Although, I don't really know where they're going to go from here uh, in terms of this Escanor. Uh, like, this is the, the final Escanor, right? Uh, maybe they'll jump back and do the Purple Jacket Escanor. Uh, but, yeah, I think if there's a hero to have it for, two sets, it's definitely melee. And then you could potentially argue with two sets for Escanor, but... Attack crit for Escanor, and then HP defense for Meliodas would be my recommendations if you had to pick one, right? Ideally, you want the the benefit of jumping backwards and forwards between attack crit and HP defense, which is what I'm going to do for Meliodas. Um, I'm kind of happy with just leaving attack crit on Escanor. Um, but maybe in the future, once I've given a few other people UR gear, I might build an HP defense, but I've got some higher priorities than that at the moment. Um, so, two overpowered characters, that is what I'd recommend. Now, on to some kind of shout outs. So with Meliodas, and hopefully you guys saw my PvP showcase, I will be bringing, at least personally, I'll be bringing back the Demon Team, and I think it'll be making a massive resurgence. Um, I think they're going to be um, a very, very powerful team. So what I'm probably gonna run in the meantime is I'm gonna get, I'm gonna use Purgatory Meli, Esterosa, I will then have my Chandler. I think he's got different gear on, so that's why he's, hiding down here somewhere uh there's my chandler so i'll probably level up chandler to 100 and use him and that'll then maybe barn in the back for the moment and that'll be my pvp team i think i think that'll be a lot of fun um but esther rosa i originally as you guys can see i've given attack crit here now although his stats kind of scream that right like 115 percent crit chance and then obviously 240 crit damage with a attack crit gear i'm actually very very heavily contemplating giving him you are HP defense gear. And the reason for that is purely the fact that one, it'll help CC, obviously, right? Like it's going to boost CC along with having a really high CC melee. And once you encroach, I mean, this card's a one shot anyway, right? So, I mean, it, uh, I'm really struggling because I want to give him attack crit, but I think, I think it's going to be HP defense. I think I'll end up you know, uh, switching some of this equipment around when I when I want to pull the trigger on it, and maybe giving you know like this set here, which I've got on Merlin just for a link, but I might end up giving that to Esterosa and just running him HP defense. It's going to hurt my soul a little bit because to me he's still a DPS hero, but I think with the way the CC is going in the game and and kind of what you can get away with when things are encroached, because if you think about it, the only time you're ever going to actually encroach, like any time you're going to use Esterosa is when you can encroach. Right, so on the deer you can encroach, right? Uh, in PvP you obviously can encroach, but you're not going to use them on bosses where you can't encroach. It doesn't really make sense. Or at least stack the darknesses, right? So you're not going to use Esterosa on the dogs because you can't stack darkness. So I think it might be HP defense. Honestly, I really do. Um, and that was kind of the main shout out apart from like these two that I wanted to call out. The other ones that obviously you can look to invest into uh, with Escanor, another really good pair is uh, Lily Merlin at the moment because uh, she has an infect card and she also has um, a really great uh, passive ability where she can only take max 40 HP damage. Um, so my recommendations for Merlin would be, oh, I was gonna say, I was wondering where my crit damage was. I'd run attack crit on her, right? Um, and again, look, there's always arguments to be made for HP defense, but we're we're playing we're playing if we can only pick one. And the reason why I say that is because she is a slightly older unit, and again, unless you have full cosmetics and you're going to look to out CC them, you're running HP defense. Attack crit damage is going to be the best bet to do the most damage. And the reason why I say that is she does have a power strike card. Um, 
her, you know, her crit chance isn't great because she is an older character, but I think that's the way I'm going to run her going forward. And because HP defense would be good, but at the end of the day, right, like her passive kind of does half of that job for you in the sense that you can only deal a maximum of 40 HP, 40% HP. And the heavy hitters in the game, right, like your melees and your, and your, and your Escanors, right, if you're encroached or whatever, like it's not going to matter if you have HP defense versus attack crit. Um, so to me, uh, I'd rather have her try and do a little bit more damage in the team and even like infect does a little bit more. Um, because then, then you have at least some sort of power backing up, right? Because like I did, at the moment, it's really kind of Escanor, Lolly Merlin, and then uh, Deanne, right? So attack crit, attack crit. At least you have some sort of backup for Escanor, and you still have that safety of that damage cap, right? Because of her passive. Um, if you're running Deanne, I mean, I'm, I'm not really going to bother with her, but it's pretty obvious, right? You run HP defense. She's a tank. Uh, you want pretty much want HP defense for all DNs, so that pretty is pretty straightforward. Um, same thing if you're running like Gotha, right? Um, Gotha is always an HP defense. I've covered off quite a few of these heroes in my guide already about you know what heroes to give what gear, but I want to touch on the new heroes and maybe like kind of some people that you can use as subsidiary to them. Um, Zeldris, Zeldris is always HP defense on the demon team, right? So. Um, yeah, make sure if you do want to see like kind of a breakdown of all the different heroes and what I recommend for all the different gears, I've got a video on it, uh, feel free to check it out. I might actually leave it in the description of this one. Um, but basically HP defense for Purgatory Melee, which surprises myself. Um, and then attack crit for Escanor. And then if you're running some support units, like I said, Estorosa, you could run attack crit, but I'm probably going to give him HP defense gear. I think I really am. I think it's just going to help his overall CC. Um, I'm on the way to 6-6, six, six. I can't wait to get him 6-6, six, six. but now both my Asterosa and my Melee are 3 out of 6, which I'm pretty happy with. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we go, but I hope that helps guys. Uh, if you disagree, let me know. Um, would love to hear your reasons why, um, but to me that kind of makes the most sense, and this is what I've kind of had to play with, and, and I think works the best for me. So, hope this helps, uh, and good luck with, again, your Meliodas. I hope you've, you've pulled everything that you wanted in this banner because it is pretty awesome uh, and we'll catch you in the next one